Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, you know, I've been messing around with some different things. Uh, I've done one other RC car review in the past, and uh, I've got another one here. Uh, this one is by far uh, the most powerful RC car I have ever messed around with at all. And, uh, you know, I'm a noob at this, so, uh, so please give me a little bit of a break here. Uh, but uh, but let's go over the car and and I'll show you what it is and we'll go over the specs and then I did do I took it out and did a little uh, test with it. Uh, my, the, you know the the test that I did is not going to be uh, crazy. I mean I'm not doing any big jumps or anything like that like you see on some videos, but it'll give you an idea of what this car is and and what it'll do. I also want to say that I, I made one of my first attempts at using a hat cam uh, when I recorded it and it didn't I had it pointed all wrong and it didn't work out well at all. But fortunately I had my uh, GoPro Hero 8 set up on a tripod as well. So we did get some decent shots. I will edit it, you know, when the car's off in the distance and things you can't see, we'll edit that stuff out uh, but, and hopefully get some uh, reasonable video. Like I said, don't expect anything too crazy out of, out of this. Uh, but the, I guess moreover, the thing that I want to say is with this car, we're probably going to do some interesting things in the future. Uh, tracking it with the uh, Skydio 2 drone. Uh, this is primarily a drone channel after all. So there might be some interesting things that we get to do with this car. And, and it's very powerful. And I'll be quite honest with you, a little bit over my head as far as uh, an RC car driver or pilot or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the car a little bit. So uh, it is a uh, JLB Racing, and I've got the spec sheet here in front of me, so I make sure I get all this stuff stri straight. Uh, and I'll put it up on the screen here so you can see the car. It's a JLB Racing two one one zero one Extreme. It says on the spec sheet. On uh, Banggood's website, they call it the Cheetah. And uh, so whatever, you know, Cheetah, Extreme, whatever it is. It also says it's the 120 amp new version. Now, I, listen, I'll be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Uh, but I guess it's a good thing, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, it has, a, it is powered, it comes with, a uh, 4,000 milliamp 3S battery. My understanding is, I've been told uh, by uh, Ryan Duvall was telling me over on uh, RD's drone reviews that you could, it will accept a 4S battery. So that would be even more extreme. Uh, it does have a, uh, a brushless motor, a 3670 uh, 2500 kV brushless motor which is just amazing. It is a four-wheel drive Truggy. See, I'm learning this terminology. It's called a Truggy. Uh, and it does have a uh, brushless 120 amp ESC. So I assume that's what they're talking about when they talk about the 120 amp version. Uh, and it, it's got a, a, a 21 kilogram steering servo. I don't know exactly what that means, but it also has a, a, a Dumbo RC uh, transmitter. One of the things I noticed about it is it had unbelievable range. It went out way further than I thought it would. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at the uh, pictures here. So, uh, this is a look at the uh, at the box. Uh, <clears throat> it says unruly speed, massively fun. <laughs> and uh, this next picture, another picture of the box, and and you can see it's pretty uh, beat up here. Uh, there again, unruly speed, massively fun. This is how it's packed in the box, if that makes any difference to you. It was packed pretty well. I mean, obviously, uh, it, even though the box on the outside was a little bit beat up, it came uh, undamaged. So this is a look at the uh, car from the top. I did not put, uh, there's some decals available for it. I'm really not good at putting those things on. So I didn't put them on, but I really like the look of the uh, graphics and the body on there. Uh, in this picture, you can see I don't have the clips on the body, but uh, 
Yeah, and then here's another side view. Here's a take a look at the uh, at the front, and those LED lights are are very very bright. Uh, they showed up really well, and actually helped me when I was uh, uh, was running it too. And the rear lights too, you can tell it helps you see the difference between the uh, front and the rear. So uh, notice the uh, pretty stout wheelie bar there, which I used uh, a fair amount when I was uh, running the uh, running the car. Uh, and then uh, in this picture, you can see that uh, uh, 3670 uh, brushless motor, 2500 uh, kV uh, brushless motor. Uh, and then you can see the uh, ESC there. Uh, it says it's waterproof. I'm not sure how much I'd want to try that. Right next to that is the receiver for the uh, Dumbo RC remote controller. Uh, and then uh, you get a picture of the battery strapped in there. I think I've got a better picture of the battery. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is then the rear suspension, oil-filled shocks. I was just kind of impressed with this double wishbone suspension. Uh, had, you know, like I said, I'm kind of new to RC cars. This stuff looks pretty cool. And the, those uh, shocks are adjustable, looks like, for preload. Uh, you know, that's something uh, that's kind of a little bit over my head. Uh, and then the front suspension there again, you know, you can see this thing's pretty stout. It's it's made out of metal. And there again, uh, double wishbone suspension with oil-filled shocks. I mean, I can tell you it, 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 uh, it takes the bumps, no problem. And then here's a better picture of that 3S battery, 400 milliamp 3S battery that... Uh, you know, I when I took it out and ran it, it had about half a charge on it, and I ran for quite a while, so I don't know how long it would go on a full charge, but but it'd go quite a while. One of the things I did notice is that when when it was done, it was done. It uh, the the car just essentially stopped. So then, lastly, here's a picture of the car with the uh, uh, remote controller, and that's the. Uh, Dumbo RC controller. You guys that do these cars a lot would know more about it than I do. I can tell you this, it seemed to have very good range uh, and seemed to work just fine. So uh, anyway, without further ado, let's show the footage of uh, my first try uh, piloting the, uh, the, the JLB21101 Cheetah or Extreme, whatever you want to call it, uh, all-wheel drive brushless motor uh, RC Truggy. Okay guys, uh, this is my first time using a uh, hat cam, so pardon me if I don't uh, get everything here. I'm using the GoPro 8 and the GoPro Hero 7. So uh, this is the first time uh, that I will have uh, driven or used, pardon me, I got a helicopter coming over here. Pretty darn low too. Yeah, if I'd have been flying a drone, that would have been a concern. He's pretty low. Uh, okay, so I've got the JLB21101 uh, RC car. And uh, this is the first time that I've ever uh, driven this thing or controlled this thing, however you want to say it. Uh, so we're just going to take it out here and mess around with it a little bit. i got to be honest with you, I am a little bit nervous. Uh, because I know this is a brushless motor car and uh, more powerful than anything I've ever used in the past. I tested out the controls at home and uh, yeah, they seem to be working. So uh, what the heck, I think there's nothing left to do here but, uh, but take off. So uh, I'm gonna be pretty ginger here at first. Oh yeah, I can tell it's fast. I'm barely on the throttle here. And you notice I'm starting off in the grass because, man, I'm telling you, the throttle on this thing is really sensitive. So you can see it wheelie there. I mean, look at that thing wheelie. Holy cow. And, and it's got good brakes, too. So a little bit touchy on the throttle. There was a wheelie. Hopefully we caught that. Let's see if we can uh, ride a wheelie here. Well, you can see how it... Uh, this thing is going to be a, a monster. Okay, so maybe... 
we can get on the pavement here. I'm going to turn uh, the other GoPro around. So reverse is really abrupt. You saw that. I, I was not in control and reverse there. Forward seems to be a little bit more. So reverse, I'm, I'm going to probably need some help with that, or am I, I may have, there, there, I think you, do you have to hit it twice to get it to go in reverse? In other words, if you reverse the trigger one time as it breaks, and if you reverse it again, uh, is it, uh, is, is it actual throttle? I don't know. I feel like I can, uh, in the grass, I'm not going to make too many mistakes. This is a quick little car. Four wheel drive, although it doesn't have a problem wheeling. So the brakes seem to work on it. Yeah, so then you saw it go in reverse there. Yeah, the brakes seem to work pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little touchy. Okay, let's go full forward here, see if we can get a wheelie. Really touchy throttle. I can feel the uh, the battery starting to uh, slow down here. I did not have a full charge on this battery. Yeah, yeah, it died. So, uh, yeah, the, when the battery goes, it goes all at once. Hey, okay, guys, uh, that was kind of our uh, first try at the uh, JLB Racing RC, uh, and I'm reading this off the side of the truck. The JLB 21101 Cheetah truggy see i'm even learning what you're supposed to call this i guess it's not a truck it's not a buggy it's a truggy uh wow all i can say is uh this thing is amazing uh it is uh way above my skill level with rc cars but i had a I had a lot of fun with it anyway so i just had a partially charged battery today uh when i first got this uh i had a defective controller so I had to get another controller for it but uh yeah i mean it works really well and uh, man this thing is uh, this thing is a monster so I think what we're gonna do with it in the future obviously we're a drone related channel so uh, we're gonna take this thing and uh, we'll chase it around with the Skydio 2 and see if we can get some good footage that way maybe we can even uh, 
strap uh, a one of the GoPros on the back of this uh, spoiler on the back, this wing on the back or something. I don't know. We'll try and get some creative stuff going with this guy, but uh, it's an amazing piece, and and you could tell that. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm definitely an amateur at, uh, at controlling one of these things, but I still had a lot of fun. So uh, anyway, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And we absolutely will see you on the next one. Bye now. JLB21101. I'll put the uh, I'll put the link down below the Banggood link down below for this guy.